Hey, and what is going on everybody? Welcome to the Farm Dream. Today we're gonna build a nursery in the greenhouse because it's a mess in there. I'll show you in a little bit, but first, let's roll the intro. Welcome in the greenhouse. Today we're gonna clean it up. We've been neglecting it a little bit. There's so many seedlings here on the ground. We definitely need to build the nursery. There's wood, there's cardboard. We need to clean it out, add the wood chips to the bottom, prepare it a little bit better because spring is around the corner. We need to fill this up with some actual vegetables. So uh, let's just get going. Just started to remove all the cardboard and realized that no dig is really working here and the cardboard is already decomposing. It's really soft, bricks and tears apart easily. But underneath that, we're finding loads of worms. And I actually just take them out and put them on the compost heap. We emptied out the front of the greenhouse and we're now working the soil. Nicole is perforating the soil just to make sure we get some more air in there and that will help with water drainage a little bit better. The ground is ready and therefore we are ready for the next step and that's going to be adding our sand. And I'm using play sand. The main reason for this is that it's been in the oven and because it's been in the oven, all the diseases, all the fungi, anything that we don't want in our ground has been killed off. We're just gonna spread it to the top and then we're gonna get a broom and brush it in to the crevices. added the sand to it. Next step, adding the cardboard. I'm taking off all the plastic, so just double checking, and uh, then it can go in. All the wood chips are in and it's now time to start working on the DIY nursery. I'll leave a link in the description with some blueprints and uh, I'll take you guys along for the ride and show you how I build it. So I'm just gonna start now on the nursery. The plan is to use this scrap wood I've got and I'm just gonna go and get building. I have a design, I'll leave a blueprint in the description if you wanna build along and you want something similar, but uh, let's just get building. Let me cut some stuff to size and let's put it together. For this build, I'm gonna use my scrap materials. I found these in a bin, so if you ever see some beans laying around, always ask if you can just take them home. They're great building materials. These were actually skewered a little bit, so they had a slight angle on them, but using some screws, we can definitely pull them back. We're gonna start with the two big frames. We're cutting everything to size, first starting with the long beams and then the small beams in between. And once they are done, we're gonna pre-drill all the holes we wanna to connect to. I'm pre-drilling for two reasons. First of all, to not split the wood. And second of all, to make sure that my screws actually go in because they didn't have longer screws available. Both levels are done and made, so now it's time for our chicken wire. And I'm just gonna roll it off here, get my staple gun, and secure it in place. And there we go. And uh, just go all the way. After connecting the first leg, I realized that I should probably get this inside before I connect the rest. So just getting it in here and uh, then we'll continue to secure the rest. Next up, we're gonna connect all the legs to the corners and set it up straight. We'll also make the cutouts in the second layer to make sure we can slide the beams through. Just lay it flat and put the second layer on top. 
I would suggest getting some help for the next step because we need to lift up the bottom layer and the only way I could find fit is using some clamps and slowly going back and forth getting it up there. The next step is getting the beams in place, again pre-drilling and then getting the screws in. I'm using the clamps to straighten out the wood again since it was curved a little bit, but it's working out fine. Lastly, we will add one more beam in the middle section to create some extra support for the chicken wire. Let's add all the seedlings and we're done. And that's it, the last tray is gonna go on there and that's them all on. Actually, fits perfectly. These are only Cole's flowers. There's no single vegetable in this, uh, in this place right now, I just checked. But at the bottom we have the seedlings that still need to germinate so they don't require any light. Up here, plants that don't require too much light and at the top the ones that need a lot of light to keep on growing. So these are all flowers of Nicole. I'm really excited to see her garden since it's something that I haven't been involved in whatsoever. So it's her creation and her creative process. So really curious to see how it's gonna end up. Looking at all these seedlings, there's gonna be a lot. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing or helping out the channel by becoming a Patreon. And don't forget to live the farm dream.